Hey guys, JJ here, and it looks like we got some brand new photos for Resident Evil Village, along with some more details and an exclusive interview with the producer Peter Fabiano. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, this news comes from IGN. This was an exclusive interview with Resident Evil Village's producer, Peter Fabiano. Before I get into the details here and read this article, let's jump into the new photos. Alright, here's our first photo of what looks to be the werewolf-like creature we've seen in gameplay. This is an excellent shot of him sort of hunched over. Looks like he just tore something apart. There's blood in the snow. It's very dark. It's very creepy. I really like this photo. Now let's move on over to the next photo. Just another shot of the environment in Village. I think it's going to be fantastic. We have parts of the castle here. We got a bunch of bats off in the distance flying around. There's no doubt in my mind this game is going to look graphically impressive and the atmosphere is going to be gorgeous. And now moving on to the main photo here. Here we got the big hairy guy. Now we did get a glimpse of this in the gameplay trailer. You could see him with his big hammer jumping down. But now we get a much better look at him. And he looks like Sasquatch. So now you can see he's got his big hammer there with blood on it. I'm assuming this is going to be a boss battle. Personally. Personally, when I see this photo, I actually had to do a double take when it's when I was scrolling through my feed. I, I seen Resident Evil, and then I seen this photo, and I kept scrolling, and then I was like, wait a minute, is that Resident Evil Village? And sure enough, yeah, this is what that creature looks like. It's not necessarily as scary as some of the creatures we've seen in past Resident Evil games that we're familiar with. This is something a little different. It, Like I said, it looks like a Sasquatch. I don't know really how I feel about that. Uh, I guess I'll have to see it in gameplay before I can kind of judge. So there you have it. Those are the three new photos we got. Now let's take, uh, let's jump into the article there and read what that has to say. All right, Resident Evil Village, new developer update plus three new screenshots. It's an IGN versed. Capcom has given IGN a small but nevertheless welcome update on the status of the next-gen Resident Evil Village, aka Resident Evil 8. The producer has also provided three exclusive new screenshots, which you can see in the gallery below. Peter Fabiano, producer of Resident Evil Village, tells IGN, We're really excited for fans to experience Resident Evil Village when it comes out in 2021. We feel it's an accumulation of all the best elements of Resident Evil games from the past 25 years, with everything fans love about action-infused survival horror, plus new surprises. Of course, there are plenty of puzzles to solve and mysteries to unfold. I like to hear that puzzles are back, definitely. I was a little disappointed Resident Evil 3 Remake pretty much got rid of them. Uh, we hope fans will enjoy exploring the desolate, snowy village in which Resident Evil Village takes place where enemies new to the franchise are awaiting for them. Players will once again take control of Ethan Winters, experiencing more of the story set in motion in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. New technologies are allowing us to immerse players in the game in ways we couldn't achieve before, and what we hope will be the most pulse-pounding Resident Evil game to date. And then our new screenshot. So there's really not much here. We'll have much more on Resident Evil Village as 2021 rolls on. In the meantime, for now, on the 8th mainline Resident Evil game, don't miss initial announcement from the past summer as well as the reveal trailer. Uh, so there's not a whole lot here. I guess it is something to kind of tie us over until we do get more gameplay. Uh, in the last update, they said that we were going to be seeing more on Resident Evil Village this winter. So I'm assuming we're going to get a lot more gameplay, potentially a demo. I'm really hoping sometime soon, but I'll just have to wait for that. But yeah, it's good to hear that puzzles are coming back, definitely. Again, that is one of the crucial aspects to classic Resident Evil games is the puzzles. So I'm glad to hear that they're putting that back in the game. The Village, again, looks incredible in this screenshot here it looks like we're going to be able to take a lot of really nice in-game photos this creature looks i think this creature looks great it's very creepy the way it's snarling at the camera and it just rips something they look savage and they remind me a lot of the ganados in resident evil 4 sort of mixed with a little bit more wild of a beast again like werewolf and then this new enemy here i just think it looks silly again but you know We'll see how it plays in the game. Overall, I'm really looking forward to this game. And every time I see something new, I get excited and I want to talk about it. So let me know what you guys think of these photos down below. What did you think of what Peter had to say in this interview? If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for all the latest Resident Evil Village news. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon-supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. So if you'd like to become a member and unlock access to custom badges, emojis to use in chat during our live streams, and exclusive streams, click that Join button down below. I'd like to give a huge shout out to our sponsor G Fuel. If you guys purchase any G Fuel products, make sure to use code ROW at checkout for a discount. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the residence of Evil.